Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to fix a leaking relief valve. It's called a TNP valve, a TPR valve. These things will sometimes start leaking, and you'll see water dripping out of the pipe. Sometimes there's not even a pipe installed, and you'll see water dripping out right here. But let me show you on the outside what it looks like when you've got water dripping out. So when you've got one of these leaking, there's two possible ways to fix it. First, you want to try the easy way. And what you do, you operate it a few times. Typically what causes it to leak is debris getting in the valve area and blocking it from completely closing. So operate it a few times, tap on it with a tool, the back end of a screwdriver, a wrench, you don't want to hit hard, but operate it a couple of times, try to break that debris loose, tap on it, and see if the leak stops. If it does, great, you're done. If it's still leaking after doing that three or four times, and you could try it multiple times and it may work. I've had several that leaked and it took opening and closing it several times, tapping on it multiple times, and it did finally stop leaking, but sometimes it just won't stop. When it won't stop leaking, the only option you have is to replace the valve. And it's really not that difficult of a process. I'll show you how to do that. When you are buying your new valve, you've got to look at the tag on the your existing water heater and it'll show you the specs this is 105 btus per hour so when you go to the store you've got to make sure you get get the same type same specifications and uh if you do that then you're set so basically what we're going to do we've got to pull the old valve out which means we've got to cut this discharge line unscrew the valve to put the new valve in but before we can do that we've got to drain the water heater uh, the water level is basically up to the top. We've got to drain it to below here so we can unscrew this to replace the new one. So let me show you what we've got to do to drain the water heater. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is turn uh, the power off to your water heater. If it's electric, you'll typically go to your breaker box and turn the breaker off. And if it's gas, you'll just turn it off at the, the gas valve at the bottom part of the water heater. Then what you need to do is turn the, the water off to your water heater. That's normally on the line right above the, the water heater. So the next thing you have to do is hook up the water hose to this drain valve on the bottom of the water heater. Then uh, a lot of these will have a handle similar to an outside water faucet. Uh, this one, you use a screwdriver to open and just basically turn it until it stops turning about three turns okay and then up here if you'll open the relief valve that will allow air to be drawn in which will prevent it from pulling a vacuum and allow it to drain more easily so we'll give this a few minutes to, to drain at least to below this line and then we'll be right back okay so the water heater has drained uh, low enough where we can pull this uh, relief valve out so let me show you what I'm gonna have to do uh, since this Discharge line uh, is going to prevent me from being able to unscrew this. I'm going to have to cut this and put a coupling on it to uh, reconnect it. Now, almost every relief valve uh, on water heaters is a three-quarter inch pipe. It can be CPVC, it can be PEX, it can be copper. It has, some, has to be something that's rated to be used with hot water. I'm going to cut this valve, or cut this pipe. All right, uh, next I'm gonna take the discharge line out of the relief valve, and it shouldn't be in there too tight, and it's not. And then I've gotta unscrew the relief valve. Hopefully it's not too tight here. So 
next thing we have to do is uh, put some Teflon tape on these threads and you always want to wrap it in the direction that you're going to screw this thing in. That way as you wrap it, it won't pull the tape loose, but it'll tend to tighten it. And you want about three or four turns of tape. And then I'm going to clean these threads out just to make sure that they're not going to cause a leak. Just make sure they're clean so we get a good seal. All right, and then we just need to thread this back in place. You want it tight, but you don't want it so tight that you uh, either crack the valve or worse yet, that you crack the, uh, the tank where it's threaded in. All right, next I'm gonna uh, reconnect the discharge line. Now I'm not gonna bother to put Teflon tape on it. Teflon tape wouldn't hurt anything, but since this is not under pressure, I'm not gonna worry about it. So just gonna put that in there. Give it a little turn to tighten it. And last thing I'm gonna do is blow it up. Hold it for a few seconds. And we're going to be back in business. So last thing we've got to do is uh, open up the water valve to fill the water heater and turn on the breaker and we're done. Now you want to make sure you uh, turn the water on first and make sure the water heater is full before you turn the breaker on. You don't want to take a chance of turning on a heating element if it's not covered with water because it'll quickly be ruined. So let me get this valve opened up. Okay, so now we know the water heater's full. So now we can go turn the uh, breaker on and uh, we'll be done with this project. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please click that like button down below. Also, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified when new videos come out. Thanks again.